Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another advanced tips and tricks video. This video will be based around sword tactics versus players with or without swords. Um, luckily I was playing some action sack Kling of the Hill, which is King of the Hill where everyone spawns with swords, which is definitely good for King of the Hill. And since this video is only four minutes long, I will be talking over it instead of slowing down the gameplay and showing you individual pieces and sections, I'll be talking over it. In previous games, such as Halo 3 and Halo Reach, when you got into a sword lunge battle, as you can see, we just clashed there, and we didn't kill each other with a sword, we blocked each other. If you both lunge at the same time, or swipe at the same time, you block each other. Now, what I'd like to point out about this is that in previous Halo games, specifically Halo 3 and Halo Reach, you only wanted to use your melee of your sword. Now, let me explain something. For those of you who don't know, the reticle, the round reticle you can see in your screen, when that turns red, you want to sw swipe with your trigger, and that will make you lunge across the map at them and swing at them. You may be noticing this. That's because I'm always using lunge with the trigger in Halo 4, and I'll explain this in a minute. In Halo 4, you always want to use this lunge capability. When the reticle turns red, you want to swipe and hit them with the sword. Now that guy did very well because he was able to swipe at me earlier. As soon as your reticle turns red again, you want to swipe with the sword to kill the enemy player. Now this is very confusing for players who have played Halo Reach and Halo 3, and this is why. In Halo 3 and Halo Reach, when you swiped with your melee function, you can, you can melee with the sword, that was faster than swiping with a lunge, with your trigger pull. And here's the reason why. While a normal melee with a sword does not make you lunge across the map, it does come in handy in sword duel. It allows you to swipe faster in Halo 3 and Halo Reach. This is not true in Halo 4. And I want to really get this word out to you guys, because I spend a significant time in the octagon figuring this out. The normal melee function with a sword and the trigger melee in Halo 4 are the exact same in terms of speed and lethality, except the trigger pull me the trigger pull melee with the sword that you normally perform makes you lunge at the enemy player. The bottom line is in Halo 4 you always want to lunge, trigger pull, swipe with the sword. You never want to use your melee key. If you don't believe me, I challenge you to go into Octagon, set it to infinite kills, infinite sword, 3 second respawn, and try it out. It is 100% true. I've tried it over and over again. Um, this is something that confuses a lot of players, I feel like, because they go into it like that player who I just killed. He doesn't know that. As soon as your reticle turns red again, when you clash with someone, you see how it like put, shoves you apart when, you, when your sword clashing when you first both clash with each other it sort of pushes you apart well if you can maneuver your center round reticle you see in the center of your screen back onto the enemy player so that it turns red and pull your trigger at that moment you will lunge back at the enemy player if you pull the normal sword swipe though with your melee button you would not lunge and that's what enables you to quickly swipe and lunge across the map at them. Make sure that targeting reticle in the center of your screen is red before you hit the melee key. Notice how that guy did not do that. The, both of those players lunged and were not lunging before... In fact, that's a great example. All three of those players, guarantee you, pulled their trigger before I was even in their reticle and their reticle had turned red. So guys, I hope this short tips and tricks video helps you understand how to play swords a little bit better um, just to um, give you guys a brief update on where I've been what I've been doing I've been extremely sick um, that might that's my voice is a little bit hoarse right now very sorry for that I do have the next episode of the review series coming out some Titanfall gameplay um, definitely two games of that as well um, please remain patient subscribe for more Halo Destiny Titanfall content tips and tricks and all that and I'll see you in the next capture or whatever I end up recording Peace, guys.